Yeah, hello, I'm Retro Jules. Have you seen the new premium tank, the M53 Equalizer, a tier 8 premium RT? This video could be controversial, depending on how you take it, it could split opinions, but this is a reskinned artillery. Possibly two things in the game that people really don't like. Firstly, I have no problem with artillery. In fact, I like artillery in the game. It changes the way games play. Some people will say when there's too many artillery in the game, it ruins it. But you could also say that when there's too many light tanks in the game too. It just changes the dynamic of the game. And I think anything that changes the dynamic of the game to give us variety is a good thing. I also think that it is engaging for artillery players to actually perhaps have a premium tank that they can use to earn their silver playing a tank style that they really enjoy. It is a reskin, it's a reskinned M53. I don't necessarily like reskins, but I do like the idea of premium tanks. I think unfortunately the game is oversaturated with premium tanks and they come out way too often, and most of them are literally reskins. Most of them aren't that special. You know, back in the day, the premium tanks would have been a rare blueprint or a prototype that makes it a rare tank, and that would make you perhaps purchase it. But of course, if Wargaming keep reskinning the same tank, whether it be a Type 59, a Centurion, an M4 Sherman or whatever, then that gets a little bit tiring and it also kind of nullifies perhaps the premium tank that you bought previously because the new one's probably going to be better. But what I like about this is it feels like a little bit of thought's gone behind it. With premium tanks, you, you got to love things like the TOG 2. I absolutely love the Vanguard, a completely different tank that doesn't play like anything else in the game. And possibly you could say that for the TOG 2, the giant land whale. And this is also like that. It's a tier 8 premium artillery piece. And I think it's only about the second premium artillery at tier 8 that we have. And they've changed the gun on it. So you get a choice of two guns, two gun packages. You can have the traditional gun that just does a great big derp of damage and a lot of splash damage. Or you can have four individual shots that fire in under a second each and do splash damage. They all do less damage each, but you can actually move your turret and literally spread your shots across the map. Or you can fire all those shots into one place. It gives a little bit of variety. Now, some of you might be saying, well, you know, it's it's all well and good, but you don't want to be on the end of this. But what I like about artillery is, A, have you ever tried playing artillery? I have a lot of respect for artillery players. It's a really hard class to play, and I find it really frustrating. I don't play it. But I have been hit and destroyed in my vanguard by a French tier 10 artillery, and I just had to say good shot because that was a hell of a shot and he'd really led the shot and he absolutely nailed me as I was tearing across the battlefield. But what I like about artillery in the game is it gives a sense of dread. You look at that top line and go, oh my god, there's three artillery. And immediately you're probably thinking, right, A, I need to not stay static in the game, B, I need to be in the city or somewhere, depending on what type of tank you're playing, but it changes perhaps your usual routine on the map, or oh, I'll go left this time, or oh, I'll go right this time, but you see artillery and you might think, yeah, I need to stay under cover. So I enjoy artillery in the game, and it's great when you've got artillery on your side, and I love hunting red squares. This artillery is gonna bring even more dread into the game, possibly, because of course, when these guys roll out in this, you're not gonna know whether they're gonna be playing the big derp gun or whether they're gonna be playing the four shot barrage gun. I'm quite looking forward to seeing this on the battlefield and seeing what devastation this tank does and seeing the shots land really, really quickly, hopefully around another player and not me. I wanted to make this video because actually I saw this tank 
and I read about it and I thought actually this is quite exciting because it is a new dynamic in the game it's a new type of gun in the game and there's a lot of us out there that are sort of saying the game's a little bit stale the game just feels like it stood still and it's not evolving and there's loads and loads of reskin tanks just getting poured and poured into the game and I still agree with that but I think this it's like a little glimmer of hope that a bit of thought's gone into this and even though it's a reskin that doesn't matter because it's just one reskin of the tank it's not like it's the fifth reskin of the same tank it's just a different version of the M53 and I think that's perfectly acceptable as a premium tank and I'm looking forward to seeing it on the battlefield and I'm also looking forward to hunting it in my vanguard but I just wanted to know what you guys thought are you an artillery player do you like artillery in the game when you look at this does it still make you think oh god another reskin or do you look at this with a little bit of interest and go actually this tank is a little bit different which is what I think premium tanks should be so those are my thoughts and I just wondered what you think I'm really looking forward to seeing your comments down below keep safe keep tanking and I'll see you soon